Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. I've got a little project share that I'd like to show you today. It's nothing spectacular, it's just I was altering a bag, a gift bag. So I'm getting ready to send some Happy Mail out. My very first Happy Mail. So I'm going to decorate a bag, it's really cute. And this is it. I'm not sure. Get it all into frame here. But it's just a little, like I say, craft gift bag. And then I used my tilde paper. Let me show it. And I mod podged it. Mod podged <laughs> it down on. Sorry, I was trying to shut my dogs were barking outside. And um, put some of my lace that I got from Hobby Lobby right there. And then some of this pink. Uh, and the, the name is just escaping me right now. And then I took some of the beaded trim and done two rows through it. And then that's just some seam binding here that I tied. And it's got a little pair of scissors that I got out of one of them spare part packs at Hobby Lobby. And then that is some of my doohickey tags I just cut in different colors and styles and put on there just for extra embellishment and then I cut out of the pack the little punch outs I punched out the uh, tilde and the little flower here and put them on there pop dotted them up just a little bit not a whole lot not sure if you can even tell and then on the flower and then on the bird and the the buttons I had put some uh Link of Stella, but it's not showing up too well, so I doubt you can see it. Anyways, that is just my quick little altered gift bag that I had made. And I plan on, like I say, doing my very first happy mail and little racks and stuff. And so I wanted, you know, whatever I send to be packaged really cute. So, like I said, this is just something, nothing spectacular, but I thought it turned out really cute, and I love that tilde paper for this, you know, this. The other thing that I have been uh, working on today uh, would be, I've been, I got some of my new stamps that I've done in the haul yesterday, this video, and so I've been stamping them out, just, um, so I could, when I get ready, I will already have them all stamped out and I can just start coloring and whatnot. I've done two or three of just about every design I got. And that way I am prepared to start coloring. And then, of course, I always have one that doesn't get stamped all the way or whatever. So this one will actually be like a, I keep them. I don't throw them away. I keep them so I could you know, test out my colors if I'm not sure, because since I am new to Copix, I'm not sure of a color combination. I'll try it on here, and if I mess up, it's, you know, nothing. But that is the reason that I'm fixing to purchase that, the tool, the Misty tool for stamping, because if I would have been using it, I could just put some more ink on it and stamped it back down. It would have been the exact same spot. And I wouldn't be wasting this piece. This one is a little faded right up in there, but I think I can still use this one. Going to regardless. <laughs> but that is what I've been working on. I've also been working on another card box. Um, <coughs> my allergies are acting up, so excuse me. Anyways, this is the makings of a new card box um i'm gonna this is one will be more like a i guess like a dresser style um i'm gonna once i get through embellishing it the top will not go down at all so it's gonna be made to stand up at all times the easel part but i went and got me some little knobs to use for my legs because i didn't want it sitting down on the you know the bottom and for the knobs, I used miniature little spools. 
As you can see, they work. I've already got goodies in some of the drawers. Now, I'm not really sure who I'm making it for yet, but I am working on it, and I hope to finish it today. Um, so, I will post back a, you know, a video once I have completed the project. But that is what I've been working on. I just wanted to do a quick little project share so you could see. So, talk to you later. Thanks for watching.